let's talk about HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, also known as statins. Statins fall under the medication class called anti-hyperlipidemic drugs. If you break apart this word, anti means against, hyper means high, lipid means fat, and emic means in the blood. So when we put that together, it means they help to lower fat levels in the blood. The medication is very easy to recognize because we are saved by the suffix. The suffix for statins are statins, which is super easy to recognize the medication names. Some examples are atorvostatin, brand name Lipitor, lovastatin, brand name Mevacor, Simvastatin, brand name Zocor, and the list goes on. But note that nystatin, although it ends in the suffix statin, is an antifungal medication, not a statin. It's commonly used to treat thrush or oral candida infection. You can remember this by the memory trick, nystatin is not a statin. Okay, now for the mechanism of action. Statins inhibit the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. The enzyme HMG-CoA reductase, which is found in the liver, is needed to make cholesterol. So if we inhibit this enzyme, we're able to lower the amount of cholesterol being made and lower the amount of cholesterol in the blood. We use statins to decrease cholesterol levels in those with hyperlipidemia which is high cholesterol in the blood. This can lead to plaque buildup. This eventually leads to something called atherosclerosis. The plaque can eventually rupture causing thrombi or a clot and may obstruct blood flow, leading to an acute MI, a heart attack, or a stroke. So we also use statins for prevention of a heart attack and a stroke. Now let's look at some side effects of statins. The main side effect you need to know for this medication is that it can cause rhabdomyolysis. What happens is when you take statins, the muscles start to break down. This leads to muscle fibers called myoglobin to be released and leak into the bloodstream. This myoglobin eventually will clog the kidney's filtration system, causing kidney damage. Let's look at some signs and symptoms of rhabdomyolysis. Muscle pain, tender, weakness, and malaise. Dark urine, commonly referred to as tea-colored or cola-colored urine. And you will see an increase in creatine kinase. These symptoms are not normal and should be reported to the HCP immediately to prevent kidney damage. Okay, now let's talk about some patient education. This medication should be taken in the evening or at bedtime to promote maximum effectiveness. This is because cholesterol is synthesized at night. And remember, we want to block the synthesis of cholesterol. So use the memory trick statins take before sleep. There are some things you want to avoid while taking statins. Avoid grapefruit juice because it can interact with statins. Avoid St. John's wort. Avoid alcohol because statins can hurt the liver. And avoid direct sun exposure. This is because statins can cause photosensitivity. You can remember this by the memory trick statins think sunburn. You also want to avoid getting pregnant on this medication because statins are not safe during pregnancy. Patients are instructed to use a barrier contraceptive while on this medication. Okay, let's look at the therapeutic response of this medication. Statins work to decrease the bad cholesterol. This is LDL, triglycerides, and total cholesterol. But statins work to increase the good cholesterol. This is HDL. So LDL think we want low levels because this is our bad fat. And for HDL think we want high levels because this is our happy cholesterol. All right, let's review the most commonly tested on concepts related to statins. Statins are used to lower cholesterol levels. 
Statins end in the suffix statin, like lovastatin. The major side effect to look out for is rhabdomyolysis. A therapeutic response to this medication would be a decrease in LDL and an increase in HDL. If you like how this information was broken down, you would love the Complete Nursing School Bundle. It takes all the fluff from your textbook and condenses it into the need-to-know information. It's been used by thousands of nursing students. You can grab yours, the link is in the description below. Happy studying, future nurses!